This question is about waves, and specifically it's about simple harmonic motion. So we're told here that we have simple harmonic motion, and we're asked, you know, which two quantities are opposite in direction? Now it really helps to know about simple harmonic motion, how we actually define it. There could be a lot of ways of doing it. We can actually do it, uh, you know, it could be like a mass on a spring, or it could be some sort of pendulum. Maybe I'll draw a pendulum this time. So I have a pendulum like this. Now this pendulum, if you look at it, I can take it now and actually, oops, can I just rotate it? Yeah, so it basically goes back and forth like this. This is what a pendulum would do. So imagine then that this right here is my pendulum here, like this, and I'll attempt to draw it now going, this is sort of my mass here, this is a pendulum. And a pendulum, for example, will undergo simple harmonic motion. And what that means is that it'll go back and forth. Okay, it'll go back and forth like this. And it'll go back and forth all the time, and that'll be that. It seems kind of boring. But the interesting part is that when it undergoes this thing called SHM, this simple harmonic motion, look carefully at what happens to it, for example, when it's up here. Okay, look at it right here. What's happening here? It's displacement. You know, the displacement will be that way. So keep in mind, you know, the displacement is this way. But there's a restoring force going inwards. We can call it the acceleration. And notice the displacement and the acceleration are in opposite directions. What happens right here uh, at the other extreme, let's just say over here. Over here, the displacement is that way. Well, maybe I'll define it like, you know, sort of that way. That's the displacement. And of course, the acceleration, oops, I didn't write that very well. Uh, the acceleration is that way, it's to the right, because the, the restoring force is always towards the center. So because of that, then, you could actually state, ah, with two things that are always opposite in direction, is actually answer D. It says acceleration and displacement. Uh, now you might think, well, how am I supposed to know that? It's actually the definition of simple harmonic motion. So it actually just comes from the definition. We define it as something like this. We normally write it like this, by the way, just so you know, to go a little bit deeper with this. Uh, we normally say that the acceleration is proportional to uh, negative di of the displacement. This is actually how it's defined. What that means then is that if we did a graph, for example, of acceleration and displacement, it would go, uh, it would be linear, first of all, because it's proportional to x, but because it's negative x, that means that actually the graph would go like this. Something like that. What that, and it really would be bound, it would stop sort of here and here. It wouldn't go forever. What that means is that as you displace it, as you drag this thing, let's say, to the right, you displace it to the right, the acceleration, because uh, acceleration is related to the force, the restoring force is bigger. So the bigger you displace it, the bigger the acceleration is. However, it's in opposite direction. See, because as you pull it to the right, it wants to go to the left. If you pull it to the left, it wants to go to the right. So that's why I'd want to go a little bit deeper and show you this is the formal definition for this. Uh, now, if you're an HL student, of course, then you also can go an even step further. You can say it's minus omega squared x. This is your constant of proportionality. So just so you know, that's, you can actually say what it's equal to. Now, none of that is technically needed. You just need to know this. And this is just the definition of SHM. That's actually what this is. That's just a definition. That's how we define simple harmonic motion, is that acceleration displacement are opposite in direction. And they're also linear, they're proportional to each other.